Jump 2-0 with a 342 ERA. This is his seventh start in 26 and the third. He's got a better than three to one strike out to walk ratio and a first pitch strike to R.J. Austin. Last time out against Arkansas, two earned against Florida last week and a swing and a miss, but a drop third strike and the throw to first finishes Austin. Shift is on for Alan Espinal, and he sends a drive deep to center field. Mac Bingham all the way back into the shadows, and he hauls it in. And he sends this one high to right field, deep to the right center field wall, and gone. Home run number 10 for Tommy White, and LSU leads 1-0. Tom, I don't remember a collegiate hitter that is as comfortable as Tommy White is in doing this, and that is using the entire field. The leadoff home run against Arkansas was the right field. This one out to right center. There is power to the pull side. There's power that way. Allows him to let that ball travel just a little bit longer, but can still get the barrel to it. He's going to try to use the fastball in the upper part of the zone. And that change up to left-handers. Won't see him much to right. He's been... In for strike three. Swing and a miss at 96 up in the zone. Three strikeouts for Bryce Cunningham. Fly ball to right field. Pearson to the track, to the fence, and it's off the top of the wall. Scooped up by Bingham. It's a stand up double for Braden Holcomb, who has two hits on the season. He retired the first 13 that he faced. Bunts placed perfectly, only play is the first, and the sack for Hewitt. 1-1 one, one pitch. Into shallow left, Larson's playing deep. Braswell had a long run and makes the catch. And this one's flown deep to left field. Larson back to the track, coming around at the fence, and leaping attempt made, but it goes over the wall and out. Two run home run by RJ Austin. Third home run of the season for Austin. Mac Bingham gave her the old college try, but came up just a hair short. Yeah, Mac Bingham getting the start tonight instead of Paxton Kling, and they tried to sneak a fastball past Austin right there. Breaking ball that got him swinging through the first time. Watch Bingham go up, and that one. Just clears out. Clings out there. He may have a chance to make that play. First hit of the weekend for Austin, who hit 300 in the Mizzou series in a line drive to left field. Larson catches up to it. And he torches this one deep right field. That one's gone. And we are tied at two. Just the second home run of the year for Larson, and it comes down in the eight hole for LSU. That, uh, that's maybe a little bit juicy. Didn't think you're going to see right there. It's a short swing for the freshman. 103 miles an hour off the bat, went just over 400 feet out to right center field. All of our runs so far, two solo home runs for LSU and a two run shot for Vanderbilt. If you're going to try to get to it, you have to trick your brain into swinging a little bit higher than you otherwise would. To second, here's Jaden Davis. Pardon me, Austin. They lost it. Nobody has it, and it drops on the dirt. And Stephen Milan reaches, and he sends a line drive to the left field corner, and that's gone. Two home run night for Tommy White. That thing left in a hurry. 107 off the bat at 21 degrees. Well, top spin beauty at the left. So first time up takes an elevated fastball, drives out to right center field. Watch location here. Trying to go up. Instead, it leaks down and in. And this is what makes White so good. Like you just think there's going to be room in. Not that they were necessarily trying to go there, but you think there's going to be room in. 
the Friday night guy at LSU just like there's a difference between being you know the starting quarterback for example at Alabama bunt handled and whoa through wide that one's going to end up into the bullpen and that's going to allow Matthew Polk he took a wide turn at second now he's back to the bag look at it and we're good <laughs> strike three at 92 and he sends a line drive the opposite way. Polk will be pointed home from third. The relay from Jones never comes. And Vandy cuts into the lead on an RBI single from Jaden Davis. Mike Baxter over at third base. This is when you know your runner and you know your right field arm. And it, it was interesting the way that Pearson played that. Look out. And now a throw over to second. Wow. And they got him. No, no, no. They didn't? No, I think he's safe. You can see, watch, there's nobody at second base, and Davis saw this. I mean, that was all on his own, and now for Milam, he's got to take the throw, try to make the tag spun around all in one move. This is, that's pretty athletic by Milam right there. Yeah. I don't know, man. You think he, the call, second base is overturned, and the runner is out. Got him looking. Is that the changeup? Yep. Goes down swing, another changeup, and that is K number five for Bryce Cunningham. Swing and a miss for Holcomb. Off the end of the bat, little dribbler, nobody at first, and Calvin Hewitt ends up with a 50 foot single. Came in second in the league in stolen bases. That's a big part of their game. Yeah. Swing, and that one got by Neal, and that would be an easy 90. His fifth of the year. I got hit. Austin also homered in the Auburn series, open league play. Runner on the move from second to third, and a swing and a miss by Austin. 0 2 pitch. Chopped to short. Braswell's only plays at first. It's a run scoring ground out that brings Hugh at home. High fly ball to center. Park's going to hold him again. Three flyouts for Koja, but who was my pitching coach at Notre Dame was in the finals against Vanderbilt. You know, this came up in conversation earlier as Bingham goes down swinging. You know, that's a, it's a good question, Tom. Uh oh. Oh wow! How about that? Huh? How about that? Whether you're the look at this. Jones punches it through the right side around third is Milam headed to third. Is Tommy White and LSU claws back in front on a Jared Jones RBI single. You got to be really careful that you don't get pulled into. Neil chops it to the right side. Austin in fair territory, and they come home and get a tag on Tommy White at the plate. But like when the team is on their heels, I like to attack. 2 2 to Travinsky, and he chops one to the left side. Charging hard is Diaz. Barry in play, and he puts it in his pocket. And LSU has loaded the bases. Bases loaded for Pearson. And a one run LSU lead. The pitch from Sieber. Swing and a miss. And the Tigers strand the bases loaded. What a pitch for Sieber. And, uh, matter of fact, it was Charlie Weiss. Line drive to left center field and a base hit for Espinal. Dynamite drop in. And Espinal is going to end up at second base. And got a pretty good quarterback. This Brady Quinn guy. Ground ball to short. And Braswell handles it. And a four pitch walk and a fastball. Ground ball to Tommy White behind the bag at third. Long throw on the money. But a run scores and we are tied once again. Leneve 0 for 1 as a pinch hitter this season. And a breaking ball gets all the way to the backstop. Tie this game at 5. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Sharply hit to second. Milam's got it. And that will close the sixth inning. And then a trip here for the Supers. Braswell drives it deep right center field. It is off the base of the wall. He'll motor his way into second base and get there standing up. Sharply hit up the middle. Braswell is going back to the bag, so he'll only make it to third. Swing and a miss. Chopped up the middle. Tough play for Davis on the run. In time. But a run scores on the RBI ground out, and LSU back in front. 
First pitch put on the ground to third and Diaz and White retired for out number three. Ground ball through the left side and a base hit for Calvin Hewitt. Went deep in the count. This ball's lifted to right field. Long run for Pearson into the gap and catch made. Your discipline came up with the rankings for manager games. <laughs> Strike three called Kevin Palga, who's on Tom Izzo's staff. Got him. This ball's ridden deep to right field. Pearson back, track, wall, and gone! Two run home run. Jaden Davis, Vanderbilt back in front. Josh Pearson simply ran out of Rome. Second home run of the year for Jaden Davis. He hit a ball hard earlier to right field, and this time off the bat, you're thinking maybe the flags are not moving. So this is all provided by Jaden Davis. Pearson thought he had a beat on it all the way back, and just off the plate to where he would the minute there was momentum he was putting his foot down on the pedal. And that is a fair ball underhand tosses high and it gets past Davis head of the third is Braswell. He will stop there and the Tigers have runners at first and third with one out in the eighth. Swinging away sends a grounder to short they go to second for one and on to first for a six four three double play. Vestine Davis in Austin and Vandy clings to a one run lead after this masterpiece. How about this turn right here Vestine he's got to set that right foot to get enough on it throw right there and they finish the double play. Breaking ball poked the other way and a knock for Calvin Hewitt to start the ninth. Ooh, that one was right at the nostrils. He got the butt down, and the sacrifice is able to advance Hewitt. Southern on Monday night. And this one's banged through the right side. It'll bring Hewitt around third. He scores, and Vanderbilt's got a two run lead in the ninth. Got to the backstop, and that'll allow Kozel to get to second. Back him up. Here's the one two. Fly ball, shallow right field, coming over is Pearson, and he handles it for the final out. Line drive, and he'll be aboard with Tommy White coming to the plate. But he's not afraid to go after a first pitch if he likes it. He liked it, but he got underneath it. Hewitt in center field. Huge out, one down. Strike three on the inside corner with 94, two down. Here's the 2-2 two -two to Malazzo. Swing and a miss. Ethan McElvain closes the door. Vandy finds some late offense, including a go-ahead two-run home run from Jaden Davis, and the Commodores have evened the series.